Well, good day everybody. I'm back in the garage again today. We are we got that Honda engine project on hold right now. Gotta wait for my parts to show up, which will probably be in a few weeks. But in the meantime, we're gonna work on some other projects. The project that I seen on YouTube out of all places, I Googled it and I thought it was interesting. And I have some materials in the garage, so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna try to make this. It's not gonna be as fancy as the one on YouTube, but um, it'd be kind of an interesting project to do. So let me show you what I have in I mind. Just wrote on my whiteboard here. What I'm gonna try to make is a fire piston. So basically, what it is, if you're out in the wilderness and you need to start a fire and you don't have any matches or something, you can use this fire piston to get a fire going. So what it is is that uh, what I come up with is that we're going to have a cylinder that we're going to machine out of these materials here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the brass or aluminum and steel. I have to figure that out yet. But what it is is that you're going to put some char cloth or something in there and then you're going to line it up inside here and then smash it down and then, and then the compression will make those embers start to burn, get your fire going. So this is the design that I basically copied. So we need to have an O-ring on there to cause compression in the cylinder. But we're also going to have an ORB top, which is right here. That way, when you want to collapse it, you just loosen it off so you can squeeze the piston in. Then you tighten up that ORB. That way it'll also create a vacuum so the piston won't fall out. So that's going to be the project that we're going to start working on. I mean, brass is pretty expensive. I know I picked this up pretty cheap. And I may want to save that for something else. So I might go with the fire piston shell, the outside steel, and then use this aluminum round stock for the piston. So I guess we're going to throw this in the lathe and uh, start machining it up. Yeah, just getting ready to machine. And I already flipped the bit around because you can see right where the edge of my nail is. I broke it. Man, buying new tips is pretty expensive. But we're going to machine this down. And... Um, I think I'm going to make it like a fist, like I hold it between my fists. I think that's how it's going to end up going. I'm not too sure yet. We're just going to start machining and see where it takes us. I get, the, I get in the form of it all right. I still got to angle this piece up, but I like the way it fits. It's a pretty good fit for my fist. And once we kind of taper this end off and probably put a little taper on this end, we can continue to do what we gotta do. It just seems like it takes so long because these Chinese mill lays, I should hit the emergency stop. The problem is, is that they're belt driven so you can't take large cuts because the machine will just slow down and stall out. So you gotta take small cuts and it seems like it takes forever. But I think that's where I'm gonna stop tonight and clean up this mess. And then um, finish this project up before the weekend's done. Well, hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm back in the garage. We're going to continue working on the fire piston. The furnace still needs to finish warming up in the garage. I thought a half hour would be enough, but not quite yet. As you can see, the temperature's only at 10 degrees. And I got set for 15. So now we go back looking at this project and where I'm going to go from here. Well, I basically got the profile made here. So we're going to put an angle cut here. Then we're going to insert this farther in the jaws and then we're going to drill a hole to tap it for the ORB and put a little chamfer in there so the, OR, so the ORB can fit. And then before we can make the hole for the other side we really need to make the piston. So I guess I should find out where my O-rings are and they're somewhere underneath my bench here. Now out of my whole O-ring selection I really need to find one and then machine the piston to the size. I think I'm gonna use this R-8. Well, that sounds better. My compressor starts to slow down and I can start it smelling like the rubber burning, so I have to tighten up the belt, so it sounds a hell of a lot better. Now let's go back to what we're working on. Now comes the fun part. I bought a 916 tap strictly for this. And, you know, for the past week and some, I was, it was staring at me in the face. Now I don't know where the hell I put it. 
pretty sure I put it somewhere where it's going to turn up someday when I don't need it. Where did you go, 916's tap? Maybe it's inside here. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, I guess it would make sense why I put it in here because I'm machining that part, so that's probably where I'd look for it. Ah, oh, what happens when you get old, you get forgetful. This is where it's going to get interesting. I need a 3364 drill bit. But the closest thing I got is a half inch, which is just one size smaller. I might have to get the boring bar out and maybe punch a hole through it. I think we got her. Actually, it's coming. Fuck me. I put the drill bit in farther than I should have went and there was nowhere for the chips to go so I'd bind it up inside. It's my own stupid fault but I was kind of worried that I was going to break off inside and my piece was going to be ruined. Fuck me. Well, it's a little bit on the tight side, but I think we're going to make it work. I just got a punch in there, kind of jam. That way I can lock the chuck while I can spin my tap. But can't get too crazy because you don't want to bind it too much and snap it off. Hopefully you can see. I think I got enough thread cut there. Let's just see if I can screw that in. Perfect. I think I got my groove right where I need it to be right now. Well, things are coming along quite smoothly here. I did machine that round because I didn't want to be looking square. So we got that part done. We're gonna leave this piece alone for right now. We gotta start machining the piston. And where is it now? I already made a line right there. And I'm gonna cut it in with the lathe so I know that's how big the piston's going to be. So we're going to continue screwing around with that. Really wish I could have motherfucking beer time right now, but with the pills I'm on, I just can't drink yet. So probably another week or two. But let's throw this aluminum piece in the lathe, start machining it down for another hour or so. And, you know, probably call it a night. Come back out tomorrow or so. Oh yeah, look at that long string right there. Thick piece of aluminum rope. I think after this cut I better clean her up before these shavings all grab and then go whipping around in a big huge frenzy. Coming along slowly, a little bit at a time. These Chinese lays, you can't take too darn big of a cut, but we're getting there slowly but surely. Uh-oh, look at that shit show right down there. See what I mean? Actually, I better stop it before it creates too much havoc. But we're almost ready to call it a night. Almost dead on. But that's going to be a tolerant fit. That's going to be like right on the money. I might have to shave off another thaw or so just so I can slide in and out. I'm going to have to get the other piece drilled though first, but I'm going to cut an o-ring groove right now. I've got my o-ring groove cut in there and o-ring put in there, so I think I'm going to call it a day. We're going to have to do some more machining on this to get it to fit. We're going to have to play around with that once I get to that stage. All right, I'm out of here for tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Sorry, no motherfucking beer time. I can't drink yet, but I promise you, as soon as I'm able to, we're going to crack that motherfucking beer and we're going to kick her back. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.